I thought I had everything under control. Until I caught my neighbor running experiments, creating monsters. I had to take a closer look. I tried to sneak to his apartment. Much worse than I expected. The monstrosity was staring back at me. Mocking me. I try to run. But to no avail. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the Prince Kratos. I know. Welcome back <laughs> to Beholder. This game got released, and we finally have the full version to play. I don't know if it's gonna continue from what I did last time. Graphics quality low, no, the highest, only the highest it is. It doesn't change anything else from right. So I don't know if we're gonna do the same thing again. That we did in the demo, but we'll see. But let's find out together, shall we? Demo. Dear Cla Carl Stein, we are happy to announce you've been appointed to the landlord of the Class D apartment block on Christmas 6. You must go there immediately and begin working. We have given you your family an apartment on the first floor. The experimental drug we injected into your system during your medical exam suppresses your need for sleep. Thus, you will be able to spend more time serving your motherland. Welcome to the elite official mark, Ministry of Allocation. Yeah, they're gonna say that again. We are happy to announce you've been appointed a landlord of the Class D apartment block on Krushvitz 6. I wanna see if anything changed. You must arrive there immediately and start working. Beat him up, that's a loser. Can you stay here, Beho? You and your family are given an apartment on the first floor. Thank you. Appreciate it. The experimental medicine you've been injected with during the medical checkout suppresses your need for sleep. Thus, you will be able to spend more time serving your motherland. Welcome to the elite official rank, Ministry of Allocation. Ha! Nothing changed, as it seems. So the 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 friggin' Eye of Shadow can't stay here because he keeps falling off. Stay here, Shadow. Can I? Can I do this? Uh, can I do this? Ha! I did it! That might not be good for the microphone, but at least the Eye of Shadow will stay here and watch over us. So, there's your boss, okay. You must be Carl, good afternoon. So, I'm gonna skip what I've done already. And I'm gonna come back. Ooh, well, that's something new. Talk with our neighbors, Carl, they're really nice. I was told the man in the top hat walks near the house occasionally. 
Can you buy? You can buy some things from you. Yeah, I saw that. What things? Antiques don't have enough things. Listen to me first. You never listen to what I tell you. <laughs> don't get so steamed. I didn't want to offend you. You're the master of bringing people down. <laughs> Sometimes I think I live with. What did you say about the traitor? Why am I so bad at this? I was a very nice person. I say he's selling new household supplies. The old woman on the second floor showed me the perfume soap she bought from me last month. I don't have anything like that now, but you can take a look at our other useful items. Uh, what, uh, do you need the soap? I have an entire box of cold or soup I bought with our ration cards. You're an unbearable car. A rope around your neck would serve you well. Go meet him and buy sweets from Arthur. The poor thing hasn't had a treat for months. So things are a big deal. Get some. Take a deep breath. Why is this so bad now? Hello? You wanna talk? I have a request. A very private one. Molly is delicious. Due to the demands of my profession, I have no time for personal matters. Saving people 24-7 is a civic duty. I know it's hard to believe that looking at me bad. I'm very shy around women. I'm confused and blushing. Every inch of extremely gifted self is sweating profusely. What can you do? Get some deodorant? Your wife is amazing, Carl. You clearly know a lot about dealing with women. I'm lonely. Find me a woman, Carl. Should be a good woman to have in the bedroom and the kitchen. Yeah, because you deserve it. Well, okay. Hello, dear. Oh, hello. Ask about what she's doing here. What do you want? Hello, I'm Sarah Watermatch, the next niece. I'm here to meet the doctor. I have nowhere to stay, and so I'll be living here. In which apartment does Aloysius leave? I can't let you go to Aloysius yet. We need to talk first. Stay here. Where would I go? I have nowhere to stay. Oh, she's, uh... She's not what I expected. Is Aloysius here? What ha what happened? Ah! Uh, tell the doctor I have the papers. Give him the lotions. Buy some candy. Oh, he's coming! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Abort mission! Abort mission! Hey, Aloysius! This is your girl. Oh, you... Hello, mention the woman at the door. There's a woman on your doorstep. She says she came to see you. Really? That's strange, but let's see. Oh, you're meant for each other. Oh, look, I did it. Uh, she has an exclamation point. Anna, wait. Anna, what, Carl? Talk about sweets from Arthur. You're once again not satisfied with anything. Oh, why are you keep saying this? I've, I bought the sweets. Okay, learn about what happened. What happened? Martha is sick, Carl, and we have no medicine at home. Can you find some aspirin for our girl? Wait in line forever only to find out I needed a prescription. Of course I'll find him. Do you have any news about my I found him? No, it's just a fever, but I don't like how she feels. So, I have to find the... The trader again. New government directive. What now? As of year 4, September 1984, imported soda is prohibited. Okay. There's a trader. Trader! Come on. What do you have? Do you have aspirin? This is, uh, that should be it. Aspirin. Yeah, bye. And... Do you have the perfume? What's this? You don't say what everything is. Ah, oh, maybe that's the candy. And I bought chocolate. I'm a doof. Okay, how's Martha? Have you found aspirin, Carl? Martha is worse. Yeah, take this. I hope this is just the flu. Everyone is sick these days. Thank you. I think she'll feel better for a couple of days. Yes. And get some reputation to buy some cameras. Oh, I love this game. Uh, Patrick? Yes, father? Uh, learn about what happened. I need to talk to you, father. What happened? I met a nice girl and I want to ask her out. Sure, man, go ahead. The first night of the Lights of Hope will take place in a couple of days. Actors from the capital arrive too. Wait, who's that girl? Andrea Gorchik. She's beautiful and smart. She likes going to the theater. I heard she wants to go up to the opening night. This is my chance, father. I don't have enough money for the tickets. How much? 
<sighs> There's no tickets. These tickets are more than streamer needs to escape the country. Jesus. This is big money. He's my kid. He has priority over everything. Theater is a lovely place, son. Here's the money. Thanks, father. You're the best. Give him for the flowers. The w we live in uh, the 1800s. Uh, no, in 1980. Well, it's a, it's an era where flowers could work, so... Don't forget to wash up before your date. One shouldn't go to the theater with a dirty neck. Don't tell mom or she'll pour an entire bottle of cologne on me. <laughs> you know her. Oh, why is she crying? Because probably because I have to leave. Hello. What are you going to do next? Thank you, Klaus. Documents are fine. We're anxious to leave this city. Or even leave the country. A dream of owning a house on the southern coast. Maybe we could even have kids. Living by train won't be easy. I couldn't buy a ticket. That must have been a mistake. To be honest, the neighboring cities are just like this one. At least here I have a job. I'm sure you'll find a way to leave the city and move as far away as you can. So... What do I do about the city? What happened? Help Shimmer escape, find a way to evict... Nothing... nothing else. No, okay. Anna! What do you want? What now, bitch? <laughs> what, Carl? Learn about what happened. Martha feels worse, Carl. The aspirin didn't help. She needs a doctor. Find a doctor! Don't you want to take Martha to the doctor? We visited her doctor already. He said to give her aspirin and clean her nose with a dish dish soap. With soap, Carl? How can I clean a kid's nose with soap? Find a good doctor for our daughter. Hey, Alocious. Hello. Alocious, my daughter is sick. Can you examine her? Oh, of course I will examine her. Uh, it's my duty. I am a doctor. Yes. I still can't find any reason. Okay, hello, dear. You can't say anything. What about you? You're Anna. Okay, no. <laughs> Let's see what Alosh does. Oh, Mark. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to leave Alosh alone with my daughter. No, I can't tell you anything, so sorry. What's going on, Alosh? He's, he's examining her. So can I find a doctor for this apartment? Not a doctor, what do I need? Someone to go buy me tickets. Move in. Jones Popanedo. Oh, yeah, this guy. Oh! So... We don't have any other options. So, sure, let's see what Mr. Popanedo does. I have money. I'll wait till I get 2,000 again. Uh, uh, go for more apartments. Because right now I need this. Theater scandal. The first evening performance of the capital play on love and peace resulted in a scandal. Part of the audience left before the end. Play should portray real people, not silly stories that have nothing to do with reality, said Bruno Ross, head of plant number one's re recreation department. The theater administration promised to shut down the play and ensure future plays don't upset the workers. The voice of truth. Once every three years, great actors come out of Nowheresville and receive a cold welcome. On Love and Peace, the latest play to premiere at our local theater was shut down when raging miners refused to watch the love story. It's hard to blame them. There's no place for feelings in the life of a common laborer, just work, quarrels, and grocery stone store lines. But comrades, let's not allow our slavery to take away our aesthetic sensitivity. Go to the theater. Who will work then? The country needs our label, not shows. Okay. There's plenty going on here. And I really can't express how much I like this. I love that it's finally out and we can play. What, Carl? Broken TV? The TV broke, Carl. Who? What did you do? Did, did you... Did you play with the cables? I told you, women are not good with cables. Stay away from the TV. <laughs> take care of the breakage, please, or call a repairman. I'll take a look. I'll fix this as soon as I can. Thanks, honey. You're a real jack of all trades. I'm a jack a boy. Can I, uh, I need stuff and shiz. I, uh, I can electric. Th this is what I need, right? I don't want to spend money for nothing. Uh, yeah, okay, so I do have the money. Let's just repair it. Repair it, man. What's here? Okay, broken TV. Yay! Oh, Alocious has a quest. Is it about my daughter? What Alocious? Hello! Results of the exam. 
What's wrong with my daughter, Doctor? I don't want to scare you, but Martha isn't well. She has a bivacillar rails in the lower half of both lungs. She needs antibiotics ASAP. And as much as I love domestic medicine, she needs the imported stuff. Local medication will only make it worse, and it's already serious. Delays could result in a fatality. It's $20,000 per course. Sorry, but I couldn't find anything cheaper. Coach, prescription regulations, I'm risking a lot to help you, baby. Can I help you? We're so, we're so happy we decided to get married. Did you hear me? I love she's getting married. Can you imagine? I bought cruise tickets to the southern shore for our honeymoon. All thanks to you. But I have a request. I want to make I want to make Sarah a gift. I don't know how I don't know her very well. But you decided to get married, even if you don't know her very well. Perfect. I don't even know what she likes. Can I ask around her? Can I can you can you ask around for her? Okay. I owe you, and I'll definitely treat you a slice of chicken in innard pie. It's delicious. So we have a gathering data on Sarah. So okay, let's uh, let's talk to let's talk to Jones Papanedo. Hones, what do you want? Get acquainted. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and taste. Sorry. My name is Carl. I'm the new manager of the apartment building. Hones Papanedo, Bosun and Colbaj. Uh, two, 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 three, four, slash, eight, seven. I'm preparing for a long trip. We're sailing ab Why am I using the same voice? I'm preparing for a long trip. We're sailing abroad. Why, why we're trying to the outside affairs committee. And I'll give you your... I'll live in your cell. What? What kind of training? This training obligatory for everyone who travels abroad on business. We're, ta we're taking anti-propaganda training. Are you alone? Yes, I live alone. Ask about the trip. You're living- Oh, she can take them! You're leaving our house soon, do I have that right? Yes, we're about to leave. The bar is ready. We're waiting for the new outside affairs committee to instruct our crew. What are you- where are you heading? Through the bay to the south and then toward Knoll Sea. Have you been to Shear? No. No, this city? This is the largest trade port city. It's had free conver- cover- governance uh, for the last decade. We'll stay in the port for a week and old coal take walks. Let's see. N. Hmm. So. Uh, I already asked him, but it doesn't give me an option to. Okay. It is illegal to wear or sell jeans. Whatever. Uh. Gather data on Sarah, so yeah, we get this. Uh, Miss Skimmer! Oh no, that's her home. <laughs> hey, Miss! Yeah, she's coming. I like how ev every time it's her coming to open the door. Yeah, the, the old guy's like, oh, I'm the archivist. I don't even care. Good afternoon. Talk about Sarah. I want to talk about your niece. Sarah? I haven't seen her in three months. What? Doesn't she live with a locious? She's Sarah too, but she's not mine. You mix them up, Carl. Your Sarah isn't good enough to dust our Sarah's shoes. Our Sarah is a cut above yours. Your Sarah is no match for our Sarah. Our Sarah... I see, Rosa. That's nice. Where was I? All right. She's not my niece. Wow. Then who's that lady that moved in with the doctor? You're a state worker, Carl. You have got papers, directives, and a big red phone. Can't you call someone and find out? I see you know a lot about my job. We've seen it all year. It's a shame we haven't seen our Sarah in so long. Let me know if you have any problems. Whoa, okay. Okay, fuck. Let me talk to her before I call the police. The uh, whatever, the government or whatever. Whoa, seriously? Ah, oh, that's ho just Jones, Hones, whatever. Special offer. I have, I have a deal. Times are hard. Everyone's doing their best. I have, I have can't fish. You know, everyone around here. Find me a buyer, and I'll pay you generously. 
Ask about the quality of food. What kind of canned food is it? Good or the usual muck? It's the best quality. It's imported and abroad. I'll sell it like hotcakes. It's not safe for me to go on the market. I want to sell them quietly without drawing attention to myself. I found the canned food in the hold. Nobody used them. Rule one of the bards. If it's not nailed down, it doesn't belong to anyone. So I took as many as I could carry. So, okay. I'll try to sell them. Just because he will owe me a favor and then maybe I can get him to take Schemer away with his train. Here's a crate with 50 cans. The whole surprise is 50 per can. You can sell them for 100 a piece at the market. So the crate costs 3000. You give me the 3000 and then sell it all. Whatever you make above 3 grand is yours to keep. Do you note my generosity? <laughs> okay. End conversation. Oh man. Oh, the man is leaving. Wait. Nathan Keller. So you have a name. Talk about the canned food. Do you need imported canned food? The price is 50 cans for 4,000. It's imported. Then why are the cans dented? I'll take it. Oh, it's always in demand. Come back tomorrow. I'll give you the money then. That was easy. That was easy. So. Uh, we still have many hours to, to work. Oh, what do we have here? Banet offered to pay me. Okay. Gather notes. Okay. So. So I ask my wife about Sarah. Maybe she knows everything. I don't know. I'm always around here. So I should be able to know more. Okay. Schemer. Let me talk to Skimmer, I haven't talked to him in a while. What's going on there? Are you fighting? A mouse and surrender flag. Oh, they think of each other. Oh, they're cute. Hey, Klaus. Klaus! Talk about Sarah Watermatch. I want to talk about your neighbor's new girlfriend. Sorry, but I pay very little attention to the people around me. Hello! Did you come up with anything? Alas, the best option is to get on a boat and sail away. This place is madness. Don't tell my wife how bad things are. She doesn't know they nailed us. Okay. Can I talk to your wife, though? Wife? Please? No? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, dear. Discuss Aloysius. Do you like Aloysius, Sarah? I adore him, Carl. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Talk about Sarah. I talk to your so-called aunt. You're not related to the Ranex, so who are you? Who cares who am I? I love him. I swear the past and there is the past. Tell me everything or I'm calling the officials. Then I'll quickly expose you. Okay, okay. My name is Vera. I had a difficult childhood. Cruel parents, uncaring teachers, lustful employers. At some point I decided I've been a victim of the system for too long. It was my turn to victimize. They were poisoning my life. Now it's my turn. So, you have found your next victim? It was like that at first, but Lotus became very dear to me. I swear, all I want is quietly live with him and make him happy. Let's strike a deal, Carl. Okay, I won't tell Lotus, but he wanted to learn more about you so he could, he could give you a gift. Thank you, Carl. Tell him he's my very best gift. I don't want anything else. Well, it was... I mean, it was too much money. I can fix both apartments now. No one wants to move me in my building. Uh -huh. Aloysius! Talk about gathering info, Martha's treatment. Uh, but this is the final price. So, like 20, 100,000? What was it? Uh, for this amount of money, you can buy the men's bring it to you. Okay. I'm waiting on the other guy to bring me back, to bring back me money. What do you want, Patrick? Yes, father. Learn about what happened. Are you in trouble at the university, son? Yes, dad. The dean has ordered us to take part in another fundraiser. It's a lot of money, and I have no idea where to get it. How much? 15,000! What? Are they crazy? Our people don't have that kind of money. If things continue to go like this, we'll have no one left to teach. Though, perhaps that's the intent. 
We'll see what we can do. Worst case scenario, you'll get a job. The country needs miners. Yes, f very funny, Dad. Thanks a lot. Martha is sick, Patrick. We need a lot of money to save her. And who knows how long it will take. A time might come where we need more and more money. I understand, Dad. On the brink of expulsion, Patrick needs money to pay for school. I don't have that kind of money! Martha! How are you doing, Martha? Not too well, Dad. It hurts at my chest. It hurts a lot. It's like the sun is in my lungs. Cool, huh? Yes, sweetie. My mom keeps crying. Can you make her stop? We can... Damn it. Why is this so hard? They need so much money. Well, one thing. Okay, give me a sec. What, Carl? How may I help? What can I do, Anna? I need 700 for utility bills. Here. Thank you, Carl. You're awesome. What can I do? Is there anything else I can tell about money for Patrick? What do you think about Patrick going to school, Anna? Should I give him the money? I don't know, Carl. He really wants to study, but on the other hand, he keeps talking about his girlfriend and freedom of speech. Working might give might make him grow up, and we could use the additional income. But that's his future. It could be better than ours. How much he how much does he need? Poor Martha is still unwell. I understand. I'll think it again. So okay, I think the priority goes to Martha and then him because I it's better for him to stay at school. Maybe he can he can do better than uh, than us. So I don't want to ruin his uh, his future. But th this is a lot of money. That's that's the whole reason I I got uh, uh, what's her name again offer the Aloysius uh, wife soon to be. But, whoa, okay, things are getting rather interesting. We still have many things going on right now, but what are, what's new? Okay, that's all, okay. But, hey, I'm gonna leave this here for now. We're gonna continue next time, because this is gonna be a regular series now. Uh, we'll keep this set to the weekends for the time being and move it to Friday when Ori in the Blind Forest is over. But, for now, thank you all so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, as you were.